Hey there, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto here in Japan and we have something special here. It is a Toyota Hilux double cab pickup truck with 5 speed manual and 2.8 liter diesel engine. And so this is special because we don't sell very many of these. These are a very expensive vehicle these days because everybody wants them and supply is running out. This is a 1991 that was bought from auction in Japan and is going to be sent to the USA. And not a lot of these in the USA. After Top Gear did their thing on this truck, and this is the same truck as the famous Top Gear truck that they tried to kill through multiple episodes and then were unsuccessful. They put it into the ocean and they put it on a 10-story building that collapsed and the vehicle after minor tune-ups was still alive. And so yes, very robust drivetrain with the 2.8 liter 3 L engine, 3L not in reference to 3 liters, but the, the series of the engine. Four wheel drive on a ladder frame chassis, leaf suspension front and rear, and switchable four wheel drive. Okay, so this one's a little bit special because it has only 60,000 kilometers, which is very low for one of these. A lot of them have over 200,000 kilometers, so nice low mileage on this one. Condition is in need of a little bit of help here and there, but uh, definitely a salvageable vehicle with a lot going for it. And something that is as valuable as this, it's worth restoring or keeping it in this condition or whatever you want to do. It is just so awesome. Engine running condition is perfect. Oil is good. Coolant is good. Everything is thumbs up there. Can lower the hood here. Ah, that's difficult. It's at the perfect height where it's difficult for me to do. Oh, JDM tree. Okay, and now let's look at the body with the hood closed. Super nice. Love the four door body style with the short bed on the back and the, the four wheel drive with. I think that this is slightly lifted suspension, but it might be stock. The thing is, we don't buy too many of these. Now, the Hilux Surf, also known as the Forerunner, is a lot cheaper than this one because it is not as cool. It is less than half the price. These pickup truck versions, though, have this goodness in it, which is the solid front axle. That's super thumbs up. The Hilux Surf doesn't get that. That makes this one way more dependable when you're off-roading it. Okay, so we're going to check out the condition of this one. We're going to go over the auction inspection sheet, and I'll talk to you about the condition of this car going to the USA. Oops. Okay. There's an antenna in the way, so let's go around that there. So it's a 1991 Hilux four-door pickup. This is an auction grade RA because it has been in an accident. Interior is C grade, 60,748 authentic mileage on it. Engine is a 3L version of the engine. Okay, here's the report. I'm gonna go over the details of this as I go. Right front inner panel area and core support corrosion hole. Now, this is something a little bit scary, but it's not as scary when you look at the real version of the vehicle. Now the underside has been painted. I couldn't find any corrosion hole in the core support. It is this one underneath here, and there is some mild corrosion on it, like right I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Like this. And like that. I wish it was easier to show. There's nothing in there that looks concerning to me. If this were my car, this bumper would come off. I would get some rust conversion paint and polish all of that surface rust off and then just seal it again. Nothing looks concerning to me there. There is some corrosion on the chassis little bits of it and you want to look at this in more detail but I couldn't find any corrosion hole in the inner panel or the frame or the suspension mounts or anywhere now, this is a 1991 and so I used to own one of these not a four-door version but mine was way 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 rustier 15 years ago and mine was a 1982 and so this one is in far better condition than my Canadian version when I had one Inner panels look good, frame rails all the way down look good, and nothing of concern at all to me. And so very surprised with that. Let's go on to the next couple of things. Left and right rear side member uh, have 
uh, been repaired from an accident. Front underside has corrosion. I just showed you that area there and showed you that I couldn't really find anything too concerning. Now, usually when I see this on the auction sheet, you're gonna get a recommendation not to bid on the vehicle. But when it comes to something like these Hilux trucks, a lot of people who like these trucks also know how to fix corrosion. And so because of that, it might be worth it, especially since the prices of these are through the roof. It is crazy. Front wiper doesn't work. They actually do work, but they don't work in different speeds. And so they go at the same speed all the time. Intermittent works, and then they're supposed to have two different speeds, and but they're both the same speed. Okay, windshield rock chip, nothing to worry about there. Exterior has various scratches, dents, and rust on it. Various scratches and dents on uh, the body. Interior dirty, seat ripped. It's actually ripped quite heavily. Trim scratched, steering wheel grip wear, and dashboard cracked. Okay, and then looking here, we have a large dent here, some light corrosion here, some medium corrosion here, some large fade on the hood, some medium fade on the roof, some large scratches in the bed, some fade back here, and a big dent on the back. Okay, so let's go around it and then I'll go over the details of that. And driving this sure was special, especially for me having owned a Toyota pickup in the past. Canada and the US never got the diesel engines, and so that's a huge sales point for these ones. And then they really drive like nothing else out there, and they feel very good when you drive, in my opinion. And a part of that might be nostalgia, because I love the way that they feel, and you know, it brings me back to being in my 20s again. But beyond that, they just don't make vehicles that are like this. The sitting position is more like a Supra or a Celica. And uh, you can actually use seats out of those cars and put them into this because they bolt right in. And that's what I did. I had Supra, I had first generation Supra seats in mine. And they were cool. Okay, so. Body-wise, let's look at damages here. Front bumper area has a big dent right here. Okay, we have cracks on these rubber pieces there, and I think that we have one over here. There we go. Fade on the hood. And interestingly, we have a bit of a crack here, so it looks like it may have some body filler used there at one point in the roof. I'm going to step on the cool side skirt here. You can see the peeling paint up there. Lots of scratches in the back. We'll have a look there. And the back is cool. Pickup trucks are cool. Toyota pickup trucks are twice as cool. And it has that rubber mat inside which actually protected the bottom side from severe scratches. You can see it's actually quite nice. There is some corrosion in there. It is nothing that is too bad. Headache rack, I think that's what it's called. In Japanese, it's called a tree. And then it has these because these are cool. They're rusted. <laughs> these flip up and then it allows you to carry your poles from here do -do 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 -do, up to the top of this and then makes it so that they don't slide off the edge and fall off. So somebody was thinking tie down straps, those tie down strap sections all the way around and the tailgate opens and you betcha I sat on this tailgate and had my lunge when it came in uh, last week and used the computer on it. It made me feel so good. Okay, so easy to open and that. You can see the fade on the corner there that was on the auction sheet. Now let's go over the rust because rust is a big problem on these. Look along the sill. Along the sill on both sides is very good. We have two sections here on the door that have rust that has been taped over. But the sills are good. Here it said that there was C2, but there actually isn't. There is C2 on the other side. Dent there. So I think that they just got the sides mixed up with the, where the C2 was. Okay. Looking in here, have a good look at that frame member. Okay, and the leafs here, take a look, they don't have shackles on them and that's the easiest way to lift it up is you just get a piece of this that's longer and then it lifts your car up 
So because it doesn't have that, I'm thinking that this is the stock suspension, but I don't want to say something and not be right about it. So if it is stock suspension, that's cool because it looks like a cool lifted up truck. It looks like it needs some Marty McFly accessories on it. And then uh, other little bits of rust, there are a few speckles like here and here. And let's see if I can remember all of the places here. And inside here. Okay, I'll show you the underside here. And because it's been painted, it's a little bit difficult to tell. But it wasn't painted recently, and that's a good sign. You can see the flaking of the paint there. The reason why that's a good sign is it means that the person who sold it at auction wasn't trying to hide something. And so this, nothing feels crunchy in there. That's good. Nobody wants crunchy inner panels. Okay, you get a window on the back for opening. Cool man style. I would love to see this converted into a camper with one of those bed mounted camping car things. Okay, back seats. Get your own little doors. And it is so weird opening a door on the back of a Toyota truck. Like that. Diesel. The best kind. Okay. Reasonable leg room. Reasonable seat. And I think that the seat can flip. You get this to pull it. Uh, just pull, pull forward so it doesn't flip. Never mind. Okay, smells like Toyota truck inside, which is, for some people like me, it's a lovely smell, but uh, it just smells like it needs to be cleaned. This door sags down a little bit, watch. See how it comes like that. So we'll need some adjustment or something, I don't know. Pretty high level of dirtiness inside. It is a shame. But the nice thing about dirtiness is it can be cleaned and it looks better and smells better too. Here's the seat with the rip in it. Look when we go down. And they're kind of nondescript seats. They're just like every Toyota seat from the 80s and 90s. And so not much special there. Just uh, when you go to get the seats, if they're like these ones here with the fold there, then the seats are going to fit. Now I didn't pull up the carpet to check for any rust or things. If you look over here, there is some on the seat railing itself or the seat mount piece, which is part of the seat rail. So if you replace those, that rust fixes itself. So power steering feels good. Shifting feels amazing in these. It's such a robust transmission. It just gives you a lot of confidence for where the gears are. I used to shift mine all the time without the clutch just because it was fun. And it's really easy to do that on this car. Here you can select two wheel drive, four wheel drive, and low gear range, four wheel drive. It's been smoked in because you can see the ash remnants in there, but it doesn't smell an awful lot like cigarettes. It's more like old car. Dashboard cracks are here. Oh, let's see that again. And here. Cup holders. Crank style windows. I love the dirtiness around the crank style window lever. 60,858 kilometers on there. So it kind of looks like a truck that has been used for work but not driven very much on the highway. Probably low kilometers, but high use for the amount of kilometers is my guess. Because the, the seat rib and the steering wheel like that kind of gives that away. Vehicles in Japan very rarely have unknown mileage unless you buy it from the person who changes the mileage, in which case that is a pretty big problem. But from auctions, the penalty is and this auction system of checking previous mileage history is pretty robust. And so it's only happened to us about two times in the 10 plus years that we have been in business. 
Okay, so there you have it. We're at 15 minutes for this video, so sorry for a long one, but I think some people are gonna be interested in these trucks because we very rarely have them. But uh, definitely a truck that you can own for a long time and you can be happy with it and it's going to last you and you're gonna wanna keep it in good condition because uh, these are definitely going up in value at the moment and have been for quite some time now. So thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.